somebody's calling for help and you know you shouldn't go out there. And my brother died the same way uh, on the ice on a snowmobile and he didn't make it. So I got to say that I'm really glad that I got a chance to help somebody else's husband and brother or family member go home because I didn't have the same opportunity. An extraordinary and heart-wrenching coincidence. CJ Lesby was enjoying a quiet evening at her cottage in Kearney on March 12th when the unimaginable happened. She was on the telephone with her husband when she heard a noise outside. So I went to the door and I could hear something and I went, hello? And then I heard, help, help, I've gone through the ice. My snowmobile, I've gone through the ice. And I said to my husband, oh my God, somebody's gone through the ice. So I whipped my boots on, I didn't even do them up and I started running and he said, hang up from me, call 911, hang up from me. So I hung up and I was trying to put the flashlight on because I was coming from the yard next door and I was running through the deep snow there and he said, he was just kept pleading, I can't hang on much longer, I can't hang on. I've hurt my shoulder, I'm in the water, I'm here, I'm here. CJ went out on the ice to try to pull the victim from the water, but quickly realized that she could not. Thankfully, her neighbor heard her cries for help. I did see uh, lights coming down. I thought just normal snowmobile going across the lake and stuff like that, right? And uh, all of a sudden I didn't see any lights again. So I didn't really think too, too much of it. So uh, we did hear a bunch of noise. We come outside and uh, once we did come outside, CJ was on the ice with a broom trying to help pull the guy out of the water. So I ran up again and I grabbed whatever I could find to help out. So I grabbed a long extension cord. I went back out there and um, threw it out for CJ. I took the extension cord and I said, I have to let go of you. I said, now I have to get this around your body. So I threw it over his, his whole body and I said, we're gonna put it under your arms because his shoulder was hurt and I didn't think he could hang on. So I got it under both his arms. So I had one loose end of the cord and the other end. And I went, I wanna tie this in a knot because if he can't hang on, he won't be able to pull himself out. The friggin' ice started to crack right where I was laying and I went, Oh my God, oh my God, and I, I think he heard me saying the ice is cracking. My father and I, we actually just took the cord and we just kept pulling with everything we had. We wanted to see the guy um, survive. We wanted to see um, a good outcome of a bad situation. So what we done, we just kept pulling and pulling. We did eventually get him out. Um, when we did get him out, he was in shock. Uh, there's, uh, he wasn't doing well, let's say that. So we managed to finally, Ryan picked him up a little bit and we scooched him and we got him just about right where we're standing here. And then he collapsed and he just kept saying, you saved my life. We tried to get his coat off because we're thinking cold, but since his shoulder was hurt, we couldn't. And Chris came running with a blanket and we just kept rubbing him with the, his nose was bleeding. I kept wiping the blood off his nose. All we can say is we're so glad he got out like, just so glad he got out. The victim was taken to hospital and thankfully is all right. We reached out to the Kearney Fire Department and Fire Chief Paul Schaefer told us, as the weather is changing before heading on any ice, please check local conditions. If you don't know, don't go. It's that easy to be safe and not put your life and the life of first responders at risk. In that location, we had a fatality two years ago, a snowmobile through the ice. This guy was quite lucky. It certainly could have been worse. We are going to actually put a life buoy by our uh, gazebo here. That way, there, if for some reason ever happens again, Everything's better prepared. Let's hope that it never happens again. Ryan is a mechanic at Rickwards Polaris and Small Motors in Kearney and a member of the Almaguin District Snowmobile Club. He warns fellow sledders to never take chances. You really want to know your conditions, to be honest, beforehand, before you go. And a um, little bit of common sense. Like, if you look at a lake and you see some bad spots, maybe uh, you would think of another route to go. Um, or possibly don't go on the ice at all, especially if you know it is getting to the end of the season. CJ knows firsthand the devastation a fatal snowmobile accident can cause. Her brother is survived by a wife and two children. I think the biggest thing, like Ryan said, is people stay away because it's not just your lives. It's everybody around that has to risk their life to come and help you and the first responders. So you're risking other people's lives as well as your own. So just be careful, be smart, stay away, you know.